Fish is so happy. She's so fun. She really is the life of the party. She's always taking a stand to do the right thing for herself, for her teammates, and other people around her. I felt like I had a bond with Felicia before I even got here. When I was visiting, she always made me feel so welcome, and she was one of the first people to actually talk to me. Being with Fish a lot on Floor and Vault is really like inspiring to me because she's always so passionate about what she's doing, and she works so hard. It makes me want to like do the same. I was a really big fan of Brew and Banter before I got here. It's honestly so cool that I even got to be on it with her. She's an icon. <laughs> I'm gonna miss her smile. She has a beautiful smile. She has a beautiful heart and I'm really just gonna miss just her presence in the gym. Felicia, I pinky promise to always have your back. Even though you're a grown-up now, you can always call me for whatever you need. <laughs> Congrats, Amy. You made it. You've made us all so proud in these past four years. I love you. Hi, Fishy. It's been an awesome four years. Can't wait to see what happens next. Congratulations again. We love you and we're so proud of you. Go, Go Bruins! Bruins. Gracie's bomb. She's always been one of a kind. I have watched her grow into this amazing, beautiful athlete. Her performance is unlike anyone I've ever seen. I was really intimidated coming in here and competing for floor for UCLA, and she really helped me find my confidence and kind of let go. G has really grinded to get to where she is today. She works nonstop on floor and vault in the gym. She's always trying to improve, even though she's basically perfect. Even after like getting her first perfect 10. The very next practice, she's back in the gym, like chipping away at the little details. She just stays humble and hungry, and that's a very infectious quality that she has that carries over to everyone on the team. Gracie is always there when I need her. She just listens and she cares, and she's just one of those people with abundant love in her heart. I'm blessed to be able to say that she's my teammate and that she's my big sister. Hey, Gracie! Your love and your passion for this sport have been completely infectious and truly a gift for us. Your fortitude and resilience has been an inspiration for everyone in the family and all the young fans that have been following you. Love you so much. Thanks for the memories. Macy is my mom. She can give you literally any advice. If you need something, go to Macy. She will help you. She always has anything you need, whether it's cold medicine or a fork. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna miss her sense of humor and her laugh. It's very distinguishable. Sometimes her laugh is more funny than the actual joke that she made. She's shown me how much of an impact it can have to just be kind and that your small interactions have a huge impact on people. She's always been able to comfort me in any situation or any time I'm doubting myself. She is so loving and so kind and truly cares about every one of her teammates. I'm so happy that I got an extra year with her because her insight has really helped develop me into the woman I am today. I'm gonna miss going to coffee shops with you, movie nights, and I'm going to miss your kind-hearted smile and just genuine personality. From gloveys to tap shoes to college gymnastics, it's been amazing. You have overcome so many obstacles along this journey and we are so incredibly proud of you. We love, love you, Macy girl. girl. Sage is crazy, but crazy in a good way. She's always making everybody laugh, doing some crazy stuff, making some weird noises. <laughs> Sadie's is probably the most lighthearted, fun-spirited, wild person I've ever met. I remember when I first got here, we were all walking out of practice and she looked at me and said, hey, you coming over? And it meant so much that she was willing to reach out, especially because I was pretty shy in the beginning. Just when I was struggling, she reached out and would come and like get food with me and talk with me. It definitely made me feel more part of the team and like I belonged. Dealing with her little brother Liam having cancer, it's incredibly inspiring to see how she keeps fighting for him. So inspiring to see her come into the gym every single day with a positive attitude and to continue to lift other people up. I've never met anybody as strong as Sadie's. Hi Mercedes. I just wanted to take a second and say how proud I am of you, your determination, 
your dedication. I mean, you've just done amazing through this whole experience at school and it's been a hard year, but I just wanted to say how proud I am and I love you. If balls of light could talk and had a face, that would be Anna. Anna is one of the most loving human beings that I've ever met. The kindest, most warm-hearted person you'll ever meet. You just feel like you're getting like a warm hug by a teddy bear. <laughs> She's someone you can count on always if you need to talk to somebody, if you're going through a hard time especially. Her interest in mental health is honestly incredible. The passion that she has for that cause has really opened our eyes. And she's not only caring about our team, but about the whole student-athlete community. She's been struggling a lot with injuries, but I'm so proud of her, how she was able to switch her mindset and dive in one more time and give it her best. She's definitely never let the toughness of this sport make her hard. Her courageous, genuine energy will definitely live on here. I'm for sure gonna miss you and your really loving and intense hugs. Anna, your mom and I are so proud of you. It's not just the trophies and the championships, but it's also the way that you handled adversity. Always with clear eyes, hard work, and integrity. We love you. Gigi's motto is, I don't care, but she does. She cares about her team. She cares about her teammates. She cares about the Panthers. <laughs> when I came in, my first impression was that Grace is honestly all over the place a little bit. But through those years, I could see how she really found herself. And I think that's what brought her to this perfect 10 and making history. To just see her every day and just do her job and get it done, she always inspires me to work harder and push myself to be better. Gigi has always been kind of in her own lane, regardless of what others think of her. She just kind of does her and she's always her most authentic self. She does the weirdest things in the gym and it's so funny. But like even when she's having fun, like she just has this different type of energy where you just like, just feel like a sense of calm around her. She is so funny and brings this big energy to the gym and I think she's really gonna be missed. Grace, your dad and I are so proud to be here to celebrate your senior meet. You've grown so much as a person the last four years. Always willing to take on a challenge and do hard things and put your team ahead of yourself. We love you. We all know Kyla Ross is our boss in gymnastics, but honestly, she's not only a boss in gymnastics, but in her whole life. It's really easy for a person who's that great to not be so nice. I've never met anyone who can be so successful in life and act as if she has nothing better to do than to spend time with you and to talk to you and to make you feel valued. She's really insightful and attentive to everyone, to every single person. She's a great teammate in that aspect because she always lifts you up. Once you get in the gym with her, she's just so funny and loud and she's always like, oh! <laughs> Seeing her go from our international elite days to college and the growth that she's had, she's just become an amazing human through that whole process. When I was 10, I made a vision board with Kyla on it. And now that I'm 20, I still have another vision board with Kyla on it. Seeing that you can combine and find a balance in working so hard and having fun and balancing great relationships. When I think about how I want to live my life, it's like Kyla Boss does it. Thank you so much for taking me on such an amazing journey. Also for being my daily motivation to always be the best that I can be. Love you so much, Miss B. Koshin is a really big mentor for me growing up. She's one of my idols. The fact that she treats me as an equal now and we're teammates and friends, it's, it's so cool. Her work ethic and how much she dedicates herself to something is just really quite amazing. Whether it's school or gymnastics, like her whole heart is in it all the time. She never judges you for anything. Her heart is so kind, she really does have a heart of gold. If you're having a bad day and nobody else notices, Koshi's gonna notice and she's gonna do whatever it takes to get your mood back up and make you feel connected to the team again. I was really struggling a lot my freshman year academically and she really took it upon herself to reach out to me, help me with school, help me talk to my professors, talk to my TAs, and we have both been able to help each other grow in different ways. 
If you ask her anything, she'll help you with it. Even before I was here, I like FaceTimed her for a whole hour and she helped me pick out classes for my fall quarter. <laughs> In the field she wants to go through being a PA, she's gonna be amazing at it. And whoever is in her hands is gonna feel so comforted by her. Maddie, your mom and I are very proud of your gymnastics accomplishments over the past 18 years. Whether it's in the gym or in the classroom, you put in the hard work and you're dedicated. But most of all, Madison, we are so proud of the person that you are. You're humble, kind, you're caring and generous with your time, and that makes us extremely proud. We, we love, love you. you. Nikki is a party. Nikki's weird. <laughs> Nikki is like no one I've ever met. <laughs> She's so funny, like hilarious every single day. She has this crazy energy, but is so lovable and very dependable. I feel like I can go to her for anything. Her demeanor is a little intimidating, but once you start talking to her, she's so warm and like welcoming. You could be in the worst mood and you come over and you talk to Nikki and all of a sudden you're smiling and laughing. She will hype you up and make you feel like the most amazing person in the room. I remember when I have tough times in the gym, she came up to me and her words really inspired me. She did take a step away from the sport and coming back was fully her decision and she has demonstrated to me and all the other girls on the team what it truly means to be passionate about something. From the baby bopping around the gym in diapers, to the 10-year-old who told Miss Felt, I want to be a Bruin, to the 22-year-old on the floor of Poly Pavilion, what a remarkable journey you've had. Nikki, thanks so much for the wonderful memories. We feel so fortunate that you've had such magnificent coaches, teammates, and friends. We love you. Congratulations. Dear Bruin family, these past four years have been a crazy ride. Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes. We may have lost a few members and, and picked, picked up some, some new ones, ones, but the class of 2020 made it through, mostly in one piece. Sort of. Okay, bye bye. I hope your shoulder doesn't fall off. <laughs> Thank you so much for supporting us. As we grew from chaotic and dysfunctional freshmen to super mature and totally functional seniors. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. We will never forget the laughs, the celebrations, the tens, the tens, the tens, the tens, the tens. The tens. Jumping from cliffs so high The natty Trusting our wings to fly The hugs Sometimes we're crashing down The dance parties But we get up and start from the ground And all the love And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I We are so grateful that we got to grow into who we were meant to be here in Westwood. And we couldn't have done it without all of your support. Thank you for all of the memories. We will cherish them for the rest of our lives. And bleed blue and gold forever. Even if the sky is falling down. Even if the sky is falling down. Yeah. The sky is falling down. Love always, Felicia Hano, Gracie Kramer, Grace Glenn, Anna Glenn, Madison Koshin, Macy Taranjo, Mercedes Sanchez, Mickey Shapiro, Kyla Ross.